What can I say about the schools and universities of the Philippines? The first thing is you need to decide where you want your kids to go long term. I can't honestly give a viewpoint on things like the University of the Philippines or some of the, uh, like, oh, what's the name? Gula I think it's, yeah, Gulas. And there's another one, Silly Man. Now, Silly Man down in uh, Negros is famous for its lawyers and what have you. So it's obviously got a lot of status there. Uh, University of the Philippines is known as one of the top universities. It may even be the top university in the Philippines, but I think it all depends on your subjects. I've spent a bit of time with Don Mos Bosco uh, because I know a couple of lecturers there, and they're based in yeah, you know, well, Don Bosco in in um, Cebu. Their carpentry and furniture manufacturing there is fantastic. I highly recommend if you want furniture made for your house or something, go and see the guys there because they're, they're class A students. I would say they're more likely to go and work overseas be, once they finish their graduation because their quality is very, very good. And on top of that, the university does have all the right equipment for manufacturing most things in there. It was something I was looking at doing with the university uh, previously uh, to actually make furniture there. Um, but it was one of those things where the university lecturer was leaving then come back, then left, and so I just thought, like, okay, well, I can't invest any more time until something's actually uh, solid. But if you want one-off stuff made, that's the place to do it. The other side of that being that, A, the students are well known for their quality. It's the same with the University of the Philippines. It, students carry a reputation from being in that university. And because you have the, uh, what do you call it? alumni there's things that connect them together it's like in the uk we have the old boys club with the the old school tie it's a similar thing you have a a sort of debt debt of friendship i would say um where you'll actually help each other it also helps with getting a job for example because if you're from the same alumni you can get that little helping hand so there is some things that you may not be used to exist in the Philippines because in the UK we don't really do that sort of stuff unless it's a private school. The other, other thing I want to say is discourage your kids to get involved with politics. The Philippines is not a place for a Westerner to get involved in local issues and I discourage you to discourage, well I didn't, I ask you to discourage your kids to get involved in politics. Um, because the university is, is one of those places where people do disappear. You don't really hear about it in the media, but if you research with things like Amnesty International and some of those types of organizations, you will see where people have just disappeared in the middle of the night. I tried to find some articles earlier on, but the um, the, <laughs> the kidnapping in Samal seems to have taken precedence over everything else, so... I couldn't find any of the articles, but if you dig deep enough, you will find that there's been people disappeared. But the fact that there's a lack of material will tell you why it's also um, political. <laughs> so be very, very careful with the politics. It's just not worth the, the hassle. Because you've got to remember, students are the source of a revolt. If you look at Tiananmen Square with China, that China, I believe, doesn't say it ever happened now. Um, it was the students that created the attempted change. Um, in many countries, you will see the leading, leading hand for change is often students. This is why they get more scrutiny than anybody else, because they were in a position where they could change things very rapidly because of their sheer numbers, but also their political motivation, which is why things are... Um, it's like the old Japanese thing, where the, the nail that stands proud is the one that gets hit first. This is exactly that. So it's something to be aware of. It's something nobody really talks about, but it is there. It, it is there. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> but the actual universities, the quality of them, 
I can't really say. I know from uh, going to Don Bosco, their carpenters are fantastic, their cabinet making is fantastic, but the schools that do um, Cebu Doctors, University, etc., I can't comment on because I don't know. I I know some doctors, but they're they're already like fifties to sixties. They they come up to retirement. You know, they're heart surgeons and stuff. They would have no relevance to today because they haven't studied there. I mean, the so I can't give a view viewpoint on that. Would I recommend training in the Philippines as a doctor? Iranians do, and you find a lot of people will do because it costs cheaper, you know, to become a doctor. So, yeah, I, I can't say no, but I can't say how good the quality is. I mean, I'd have to question, depends what you want to do in life. If you want to go to the UK, I'd have a research on how they connect the two dots where you come out of the Philippines with this bit of paper and how that fits in with the UK's bit of paper. Because if it's going to cost you another three years training, for example, was it worth going to the one in the Philippines? Or would you be better biting the bullet and going back to the UK to study? I can't, like I said, I can't comment on it. But there is a lot of good people in the Philippines and there's a lot of well-educated people. Engineers, for example, are very highly respected not only in the oil and gas industry but also in the um you know for the ships for the merchant navy etc because they know their stuff we have several members of the family that are uh, engineers for shipping all very good guys very well qualified very skilled people and they have the knowledge and experience and speaking to people that actually hire filipinos overseas in those types of industry they like the filipinos because they will follow things by the book if you give them a sheet like that and say this is how the process is they will follow it they won't skip anything which is why a lot of people prefer filipinos doing it than some of the other cheaper countries that can provide labor because they will skip stuff um, I know a few of our friends went over to Nigeria to actually train the locals there and other um, African people um, that's not being derogatory or anything by the way it's locals to that to Nigeria you know the other countries around it um, to that work in the oil fields, they were training them on how to operate things, and they were finding it very hard work. To the point that the Filipino guys said, "We've had enough after a few months because these guys just can't learn it; they can't absorb it." So, yes, I would say some of the skill levels and stuff that come out of the Philippines is fantastic, but at the same time, everything's all these little stupid bits of paper these days. So. I would question where the kids want to go in the future. If they want to stay in the Philippines, they're in the right place. Because if you go to Suleiman, for example, if you want to be a lawyer, you're going to have good connections there because a lot of your classmates are going to be the other people in the other, uh, well, in the same industry. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.